Jesus Christ. What do you say? Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, and we don't have long to get this experience. In fact, if you start looking over the news, you'll recognize that something is getting ready to happen. This man is on the scene. You know who that man is right there? Who is that man? This is Pope Francis, the Pope of Rome. On the front cover of Time Magazine, it wasn't but a month, two months, after he's been elected, immediately on the cover of every major magazine in the world. All of a sudden, the front of Time Magazine is called the person of the year. Now, you know, brothers and sisters, there was a time when this type of idea would to, to, uh, to elect a Pope, a man of the year for America and the world, never. But my brothers and sisters, times are changing. The Bible says that the whole world is getting ready to wonder after this piece. This was a double issue. Oh, I, I put it in December 23, 2013. And the moment he came on the scene, things began to transpire. Now, what did the prophet say concerning this? Line 5, 7, 16. While the Protestant world, and this is talking about the whole world, the Protestant world, but who is the leading Protestant nation in this Protestant world? Who's the leading Protestant nation? America. The United States of America. But it's only a name now. We're almost completely a pot state Protestantism. Now watch. It says that while the world, Protestant world, is by her attitude making concessions to what? Rome. Would America be making concessions to Rome right now? Oh, yeah. Can you tell me one act that shows that America is making concessions to Rome right now? What is one of the greatest events that you can point to today that shows that America is making one of the greatest concessions to Rome that America has ever made? Say Sunday worship, yes, but no. Now almost every person has been doing that. There's a concession that's happening right now that shows this. Something's getting ready to happen in September. He's coming to Congress. He's coming to America. He's coming to the lawmakers. He's coming to the House and to the Senate and to the and, and to, to American Congress. That can you imagine? Do you understand that in the Constitution? We talk about the fact that all men have been created equal and that there should never be an enactment in law that suppresses religious liberty. We have that in the First Amendment to the Constitution and this Pope of Rome doesn't believe in that whatsoever and yet he's getting ready to talk to Congress as if he was a Protestant preacher. They've never asked any other religious uh, official to do that. They've never asked the Pope to do that. That tells us that Protestant America is no longer Protestant America. This invitation is here ready to come. We're going to show you this week what this means. Now this says, let us do what? Not go to sleep, but do what? Arouse to comprehend the situation. In other words, when we see this, we shouldn't say, oh, yes, this is good, this is good. We should understand what this really means to America and to us. It says, let, uh, view the context before it's in its true bearings. Let the watchman, not tomorrow, but when? Now, now live up their voice. Don't whisper this. Lift up their voice and give the message, which is present truth, 